I wanted to give my bit on a trend of videos that I've uh, seen on YouTube, specifically videos showing off the demonstration video from Crytek showing off their latest game, Crisis. And um, this group is basically utilizing the uh, latest features within DirectX 10, Microsoft's 3D acceleration language. That said, some of these videos are using Crytek's game uh, as an excuse or, or reason for making Windows a superior operating system. That said, I can't make the connection, and I, I, I frankly I find it a little insulting um, that kudos would be given to Windows, and they should be given to Crytek. They're the creators of Crisis. They're the ones who created the um, the uh, Crytek engines that run this game, and it's their efforts in programming that will hopefully make that game successful. Uh, from the previous versions of Direct, or, or even even games on OpenGL, you have varying degrees of performance and um, on both extremes of the spectrum. Really, not so much having to do with the language itself, but as what the companies utilize and program and their uh, creative abilities in uh, producing those games. So you could very much see future DirectX 10 games, and they can they can be completely horrible. So I can't see where Windows would get credit, uh, where Crytek is really the one responsible for for. Uh, that um, performance. Now, my argument is that OpenGL, or the power of Open, OpenGL, at least now with the version 2.1 and now announced OpenGL 3, uh, at least in my opinion for now, is going to outperform uh, DirectX 10, and I just hope that. Um, some of these games um, get ported over to OpenGL. And at least uh, one of the betas that I did see of Crisis did run on an OpenGL and um, at least from uh, this demonstration uh, the performance was, was, was excellent. Now uh, I know the card manufacturers, specifically NVIDIA, is incorporating some of these new OpenGL drivers and extensions, uh, specifically for 2.1. And now, uh, when 3 gets um, finalized, because I know it was announced, uh, I think it was in late August or September, um, man, uh, the performance uh, will, be a, will be something to see. And really, the argument comes down to whether you're, you're a Linux user or a Unix, other Unix platform OS or a Mac user, all these platforms use OpenGL. Windows, with their proprietary direct language, that's it. They have their Xbox that uses direct, where other con consoles like Sony use um, OpenGL, parts of uh, Nintendo, like uh, I believe it's Nintendo DS, and uh, we use OpenGL. Um, some other systems use proprietary uh, APIs for themselves. Um, but Windows stands alone with the direct language. And yes, they do hold the uh, gamer market, uh, at least for computers are concerned. Um, but what's funny is, is that OpenGL can be made to run just as well and just as good as direct on Windows. As a matter of fact, um, doing my own benchmarks with OpenGL and uh, with another uh, member of YouTube um, we're benching our OpenGL scores and with some of the latest drivers um, Vista's OpenGL scores are, 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 are getting up there so I'm beginning to see no reason 
for development and direct, other than what Microsoft wants to hold as a proprietary market. Um, I think games sh should be moved to OpenGL. Then Linux users and everybody else could also play them as well, uh, if I haven't already said that. Uh, basically, that was, that was my bit. I can't make a connection nor give Windows any credit for what another company has done. Not that it would be the first time that Windows would get credit for somebody else's hard labor. But I hope that um, Crisis uh, at least is, uh, is a success, and I look forward to an OpenGL port from, from that game. Um, and I, in this vid, I've also included some uh, OpenGL uh, 2.1 samples and animations uh, and some proprietary software, at least, um, where it's not available on Windows. Uh, that film studios use, uh, specifically Shake, but it is available for Linux. Anyway, thanks for watching.